this area will be the uh, TV wall with the cabinet. Roughly seat. half the and homes Vancouver developer back. Leo Lee builds are laneway houses. Backyard structures often rented out to offset a hefty mortgage. When Lee learned the province wants to provide a cash incentive for homeowners to build suites like these, he got excited to build one for himself. But... I want to check for myself. Yeah, but at the same time, I, uh, I have a little bit doubt whether there will be too much criteria. Mr. Speaker, I'm pleased to introduce the Housing Statutes Residential Development Amendment Act. It's part of new legislation to change zoning rules and increase density in the face of the housing crisis. We're excited to support homeowners to create new secondary suites through our new secondary suite incentive program, which we'll be launching this spring. It would legalize those suites common in Vancouver across the province and help cover the cost up to $40,000. It's a very generous subsidy and that I think will encourage people. The subsidy comes as a forgivable loan. The homeowner pays up front and later gets a rebate if they follow the rules, including that the suite be rented out at below market rent. But with construction and permits, Lee says a basic laneway house can run you two to three hundred grand. If you're renting it as affordable housing, are you going to make your money back on no, a laneway house? I don't think so. In Toronto, laneway houses were allowed four years ago. Construction has been steady, but slow. It takes a few years before people start to take advantage of the zoning permissions because they need to work through all those questions and issues. Given the high costs of borrowing and building, economists say don't expect thousands of new laneway houses to pop up overnight, despite government cash. Lindsay Dancombe, CBC News, Vancouver.